So I've got two hummingbird feeders going on right now. I've got this one right here, which is starting to get frozen. And then I have this one, which I'm just kind of changing it out every few hours before it freezes over because we had our hummingbird, our usual customer that I've named Hector, and he came along and basically made it very clear to me that this feeder was frozen. So I had to whip up a new batch of um, food for him and take in the, the frozen uh, sugar water and just put this one out. So I've been changing them out every few hours. So I love having cedars in my yard because I use it to make Christmas swags every year. So what I do here is I just take my greenery and I just kind of arrange it with all of the um, wooden parts up at the top. And um, a lot of people use florist wire for this part, but I'm lazy. I find the easiest thing to do is just to use a good old fashioned, one of those thick elastic bands and that works really, really well. Now I'm just going to tuck in just my little holly pick underneath the elastic. And then I just use a little bit of this um, thin florist wire to attach the pine cones and that's it. That's all I do and they just look so great. So now I've just completed three beautiful swags and these are going to my coworkers. I was visiting one of my favorite shops that I like to go in to get some ideas for Christmas gifts and I noticed that they had some really neat um, bags of simmering spices and they were selling them for $16 a piece and I thought you know what I could probably DIY something very similar so here I just got my dehydrator out and I dehydrated some orange slices these are blood orange slices, and then these over here are lemon slices. So I did those, and then over here I have some whole cloves, which will be wonderful in there. Some cinnamon sticks, and then these here are black cardamom pods. And I found these in the South Asian section of my grocery store. And they just have kind of a very earthy sort of a scent. And I think it'll marry nicely with all of the other things that I'm going to put in there. And now you have a beautiful gift for someone on your list and all you need to do to use it is fill a saucepan with some water, put some of the simmering spices in it, simmer it up and it will make your house smell amazing. making a traditional tortillere, which is a, a traditional French Canadian dish that my husband likes to make every Christmas. And um, I'll just let him tell you what goes in this. Ground beef, ground pork, uh, onions, some uh, potatoes, and a whole bunch of spices. Like cloves like and allspice. Cloves, salt, pepper, allspice. And you mix it all together and put it in the fridge overnight. And then you put a top crust on yeah. and you bake it. Bob's your uncle. And then you serve it with ketchup. That's sort of the traditional thing to do, right? You can do gravy, but ketchup is classic French Canadian. Excellent. I can't wait to try this. It looks delicious.
dinner was absolutely delicious and now I think it's time to sit and relax by the fire a little bit. And I also want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and thank you so much for being a part of my channel. You make a difference every single day and you are somebody's miracle worker and I want you to keep that in mind because you are special. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Take care everyone and we'll see you in the next one.